as a designer can now get greater insight into your latest wireless LAN signals with your Pathway VSA software for your 802.11n, AC, AX, and V modulation analysis. Hi, my name is Paris Akshi, and I'm the Product Marketing Manager for Signal Analyzers at Keysight Technologies. Now, in the next generation of wireless LAN standards, the 802.11BE, or extremely high throughput wireless LAN, so many new features are being defined that will greatly increase the throughput and will provide support for so many real-time applications. Now, in this video today, I want to show you a quick demo of how easily you can use your VSA software for your wireless LAN modulation analysis. Let's have a quick look together. All right, so this is my signal here. If I go to the measurement setup under the measurement type, I can go to the wireless connectivity and I can pick the IEEE 802.11 NACX and BE. From here also, I can go and find uh, out how many uh, panels I want to um, basically analyze for this analysis. So I'll go uh, for today to a six panel, so let's go grade two by three. Um, so basically, this is an IEEE 802.11BE single uh, user signal with 320 megahertz bandwidth, 4096 quantum modulation, and a center frequency of 7.125 gigahertz. So starting from this one here at the top left, this is your constellation diagram. So as your modulations become more complex, it becomes extremely important to understand and troubleshoot your IQ modulation impairments, and it also becomes very difficult to do that. So by analyzing this constellation diagram, you'll get information about any deviations in the shape or angle or locations for your constellation symbols, which indicate a specific source of impairment that might be going on in your um, signal. So moving to the second panel, the one in the middle, this is your error vector spectrum. This shows you your signal EVM versus frequency. This provides an armist average EVM, which is shown by the 2D average lines, and also individual EVM for each subcarrier on this vertical lines here. So the EVM is the error vector magnitude between a measure constellation point and an ideal or reference constellation point. Now the y-axis here is your EVM magnitude and the x is your subcarrier number. The different colors that you're seeing here and the different shapes like the lines and this uh, little squares here, they all refer to the pilot subcarriers and you know data subcarriers, RMS error vector spectrum. So it's basically to distinguish between all of these parameters here. Now moving to the next graph on the right side, error vector time, this shows you the signal EVM versus time. It provides individual EVM for all of your symbol times. And then this again is a multicolor display. So this is a sign, you know, assigning unique colors to your pilot subcarrier, to the data subcarrier, to the RMS error vector data. For example, like the colored um, shapes that you see here, like these squares, um, these are your data subcarrier symbol EVMs. If you see any white square, that shows you the pilot subcarrier symbol EVM. If you see any vertical lines here, these are showing your common subcarrier positions. The white lines that you see right here, these are your, you know, plot of your RMS average symbol EVM for your subcarrier. Moving to the next one down here, this is your spectrum. So this is the average instantaneous spectrum that basically tells you what's going on, you know, continuous monitoring of the signals or of your spectrum, you know, in this analysis. The next one um, is your error summary table, which shows you the results of each input channel. And as you see, it includes lots of information. For example, your EVM, your you know frequency errors, your um, IQ offset, your power, like lots of information here. I have explained all of these parameters in details in my other demo videos that I will include a link here for those of you who are interested to go and watch those in details. But for today, I just wanted to tell you that all of these parameters here are great hints if anything is wrong in the system with your quality of your signal. For example, the quality of your phase component or you know amplitude components, or if there is any errors in your R frequency, LA frequency, and anything else, this will show up on these different parameters here in this table. Now moving to the next one, this uh, last one is your burst info summary table. This shows your active data burst that is currently being analyzed. 
So this data shows you what fields were detected in your burrs and also gives you the modulation format. As you see, it gives you the number of your symbols, the power level, as well as your EVM information. These are here like some of the elements, for example, like the LSTF as for example, your legacy or non high throughput short training field, or you can see information for your, you know, long training fields, or you can see the signal fields, or you can see all the basically all this EHTs that are extremely high throughput information. So basically the format information is a simple summary of your signal that was found and shows you basically whether this signal is a legacy one, is it a non high throughput um, signal, is it a mix, is it a very high throughput or whatever it is and what parameters are associated with it. So if you're excited to try your own wireless line modulation and analysis, go ahead and download the free trial version today and enjoy the speed, accuracy, and the comfort that this software will bring to your life. Thank you for watching.